Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to look at a new release from Iron Kitten Game called Loon Architects. Uh, as you can imagine, you're building a base on the moon. In fact, it says, the strategy game of planning the first moon base by Dan Cunningham. Uh, I had not heard too much about this, saw several plays on the uh, the uh, solitaire games on your table, looked it up, was able to find a copy of uh, the Kickstarter version, and jumped on it. We understand it's not going to be available in stores, uh, will be available uh, on the website of the uh, Iron Kitten. Might be the only way you can get it. Hopefully it'll stay in print because what I understand it's a very, very good game. So let's take a look at what you get inside. It is for one to five players. Uh, plays in 60 minutes, 13 and up. Very recommended ages. Looks really cool. Um, spaceship miniatures and uh, wouldn't. So he's got tokens, astronauts, player bonds, sponge and dials. Fun goodness and good funness. This box, I hope. So let's take the lid off. Really don't know too much about it. Just kind of went on the recommendation of, of others. So, what do you know? There's a rule book. So I'll turn this like that. Like that. See so this glare. Alright, so we've got a rule book here, which is uh, 24 pages. Um, great little artwork, not too serious. Um, explains everything, lots of call outs to uh, give you examples. Um, uh, the game has different scoring mechanisms. So each lap you have scores, and at the end game you have different scores, so you never know exactly what you're after until the end. Um, Oh, you know, it's 24 pages, but it's uh, multiple languages. So we are at seven pages for the English rules. And then I'm going to German. Um, so French, German. And then on the back, we have a player reference that's in, uh, that's in English. So that's cool. So not a lot of rules to learn, looks like. And then we've got our punch board sheet. And in case you're curious, this is revision 10, and it was at 600 dots per inch. So just a little behind the scenes stuff that was left on there, which is fine. So let's see, you got one sheet, two sheet, red sheet, blue sheet, Got, uh, six sheets of counters. Got a game board. Wedged into the tray there. Oh, this is a the nice tray. I think this was a Kickstarter exclusive. So let's open the board real quick. You know, this reasonably sized board. And it is. Yeah, just three panels. So that's interesting. Interesting to see how that works uh, in terms of use. Anyway, we have, well, you got a little tray that comes out, I guess, to, to go on the table while you're playing. Cool. That's neat. A couple of dice, red and white, with pips. Uh, a cool little rocket. Meeples. They, they fit plastic. They may be wooden. No, they probably wouldn't. Very cool. You can see if those are not. Little 50s style rockets. So you a whole bag of those. And a bag of crystals. You get a bag of bags. Nice. And you get a bag of potpourri. No. It's a potpourri of markers. It's like a sachet of potpourri. I like that. Put that some green little items together. <clears throat> Got our little astronauts. Player palms, I assume we've got 
purple, green, yellow, orange, and gray. We've got silica gel that you don't want to eat. We've got some white markers and some gray markers and some blue markers. I assume that's water. They look like water drops. I'm sure the rules tell us. This is probably a stone or ore. And white is marshmallows. In case you're having hot chocolate on the on the moon. So anyway, that is what you're gonna get in the box. And then you've got this organizing tray. Indicates where things are to go. And it looks like this little removable tray is convenient to put onto the table. And it seems to be a little fragile. But that may be, I saw a suggestion online that basically is to, when you're done punching out these markers, to save the sprue, stack them up and put them underneath and that lifts this, this up a little bit so that the box lid sits on top and stuff doesn't shift around. So uh, you got a lot of lip here going around the edges so that should fit right in there. Um, I will try that out when I punch this, but lots of tokens, a board, lots of counters, and a pretty easy to manage rule book. And that is what comes in Loon Architects from Iron Kitten Games, designed by Dan Cunningham. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.